All right, so today's amino acid I'm talking about is alanine, right there. And so alanine, here's your alpha carbon in the middle. So all, all amino acids have an alpha carbon, and they have an amine and a carboxylic acid. So there's your amine and a carboxylic acid on both sides. And alanine is actually a pretty small, it's a hydrophobic amino acid, because alanine's R group is simply a methyl group. Right, so connected to the alpha carbon is the methyl group. Methyl is a hydrophobic functional group. And so it's small, it's hydrophobic. The presence of that methyl group makes it pretty ideal in uh, mutagenesis experiments and protein engineering. Because if we want to mutate um, this amino acid, if we want to mutate another amino acid, we're going to mutate it to alanine because it changes the characteristics um, to make it hydrophobic. And it's also a very simple amino acid that we can work with, right? So alanine is very important biochemical when we're doing research, right? Now, another thing about alanine is this, it's a similarity to pyruvate. Now, pyruvate is the product of the glycolysis pathway in, for, in carbohydrate metabolism. Pyruvate will have carboxylic acid, and then instead of the amine, it'll have a carbonyl right here, and it'll have a carbon over here. So we can create alanine, we can synthesize alanine in our body to pyruvate by replacing the carbonyl with an amine. That's called a transamination reaction. And so that reaction connects both carbohydrate metabolism as well as amino acid metabolism. So that's actually re really important. And that's important in the, the, the cycles of the body because when we transfer pyruvate and alanine, we can actually transport the two and then we can actually convert to alanine. And then this goes, that would then go to the urea cycle and we have a way of getting rid of excess nitrogen in the body. So that's very important for nitrogen metabolism and nitrogen transport as well. So that's also really important. So that is the amino acid alanine. It's a very simple amino acid. And uh, there's our amino acids.